Okay, so it's Tuesday. What day is it today? Tuesday the 14th, it's about 1 p.m. KL time. Uh, overnight and over the day during Asian session, NJ went up. I mean, yes, this was yesterday. And it came down today, the whole of this morning, it came down back to this uh, area of resistance. Beautiful wick. I could potentially enter into a trade over there. You know, because it's beautiful wick. Targets over here. It is so beautiful, actually. It is very, very beautiful. I like this nice wick rejection and an engulfing candle. This would have been the perfect trade, giving you risk to reward three point or oh, almost four times to 16 pips that you risk for 64 pip gain. Almost a similar thing happening on the GJ. Yeah. Mm. It didn't climb up as much like the NJ, but it did have a, a double top here on this resistance region dropped. It's got some really good rejection here at this resistance level. Uh, I lost a trade following a, a signal yesterday. The signal said don't enter but I still entered and the reason it failed is because it's a double top and very good rejections on this resistance and the candle was strong on the one hour so it, yeah if you notice it just kept dropping. Yeah. Anyhow, so that was a $200 loss, um, you know, about, let's look at the loss here, 60, no, not $200, it's about 120 or $30, yeah, that's what I lost last night on the GJ, it's okay, we will definitely make it up, uh, on the... GJ right now there's some beautiful setups happening nice engulfing engulfing variation but if I had to take it now I mean around here it's just too much of a stop loss you know plus 10 at least 35 pips and if I had to target that's it is kind of too much I'm looking at if it makes a nice beautiful impulse move and then comes down to a fib region i would enter let's see what happens okay so i have entered uh put in a gu trade as well for the simple fact that it is on an uptrend right and it it gave me a beautiful wick in this region uh, and when you go lower, you see it's beginning to form like a double bottom. Go lower. Look at this. Price going down, double bottom. Price came back here and it's still divergent. Okay, so typically it's a I would I would have liked to enter over here, but I think I passed it. So I've entered with a 0.25. Maybe I should readjust this price here yeah? uh, with a 0.25. Let's see around this region. I'm going to readjust the price of entry on the GU. Um, let's remove this. And enter a new price with a buy limit. And this time, the risk to reward ratio 
is about 20.9 earlier i put about 0.2 0.2% or something uh, for my risk. Uh, let's make it 0 0.2. 0 0.48. I'm going to put my price as 0 0.4. Okay. 0 0.4. At price. Blah, blah, blah. If it does hit that. It's going to get activated. Profit level remains the same. Stop level remains the same. Boom. Okay. Now this massive GA trade, I don't know what's going to happen, but let's see. That was taken off somebody's signal. Mm, that was the, oh, that's the only trade taken off a signal. The rest, let's look at NJ. I like what NJ is doing right now. Mm, I was waiting. So first of all, I like NJ even without this this uh, wick, the retest over here in this region. I like the rejection it had on the 30 minute, beautiful rejection, and then I like this kind of an engulfing candle. I would have loved to enter here, but then I waited for a pullback. It came to the golden zone region, but it went lower and it went lower. And uh, if you look at it, it's quite big. It's an engulfing, but too far of a distance. So I entered somewhere in here. Okay, when I saw that it's going to keep going. So uh, since it, did reject i'm going to bring this a little more in here let's say sorry about 712 pips let's put it about and let me bring it about here 10 pips away just going to put it there okay and i'm targeting this region uh let's adjust my stop loss to 69 and nj adjust okay yeah, so how much what am i risking on the nj it's somewhere just about 96 dollars it's really small mm. you know what because it is 96 let's go lower uh, let's make it uh, 13 pip stop loss so now I'm risking almost just what 0.2 percent probably 0.2 because uh, if it's 0.5%, it would be $250, and 0.25% would be 125, right? Half of that. So that's what I'm risking. Let's uh, put that. Uh, it's about 69.933. Okay, so almost 2% risk to reward. I mean, it's about 2. Let's see how it behaves. Uh, then I the similar setup on GJ. Beautiful rejections here. This was a better. Hey, why is it coming down again? Sheesh. I like this rejection. I hope it just keeps going up till there. I am risking, let's see, let's look at GJ. What am I risking? Oh, I didn't write anything there. I didn't do anything there, okay. So my entry was around here. I still like the first leg. Uh, the second leg I entered somewhere here after this candle. We could, Let's say 15 pips from here. 
would be that's what's that 12 number 27 but I'm just gonna put 25 and targeting this region it's a simple one point 1.2 risk to reward okay let me adjust the GJ here oh my other GBP USD got activated mm, the stops okay let's look at how much I'm risking now about 146 which is again around 0.25 or 0.3 percent so that's let's say it's 0.3 on the GJ 0.2 on NJ that's 0.5 in total uh, then on the GU I would have risked a total of 0.5 again so maybe 1 percent in total is what my risk is on these three four trades that are running one point something percent because the GA already had a risk of uh, one percent so hopefully that also goes into profit and happy days okay all right so i have no idea what the heck is happening it's all in the negative it's crazy let's look at gu so now what i it also looks like is the fact that let's make it bigger good thing it's risk there's risk management so one thing it does look like also is the fact that it failed to break this resistance and there was no support to hold it broke that support easily there was some sort of resistance here I liked it that's why I took the trade but it looks like it's breaking it and what it could do is this could be the beginning of a bad trend it could be going down now actually is it going to go down that's what i want to know it could be going down from here so maybe yeah break retest and got drop that's one let's look at So I'm going to write uh, is H4 turning to bearish. So this is the higher low. Yeah, higher low. Once it breaks past the high, it's an unconfirmed low. Um, so up, down, it could be no idea. All right, it could be. Look at that rejection. Strong rejection. Three. for three days strong rejection over here strong resistance hmm is h4 going to be bearish is the question to be asked what the heck come on dude
think the internet just went off. I'm gonna take this out, put this down. Internet is gone, uh, there's no connection, but let's go through this chart. I'm gonna remove this. So GJ, NJ, and GU all moved the same way. If I'm looking at the most recent uh, price action of GJ, you'll notice from here onwards, right? It's gone up. This is a low. I came here, broke past the previous low. So this is uh, broke past the previous high. Down, high. This is on the first. The high. And then it breaks past the confirmed low. Lower high. Breaks past confirmed low. Lower high. So it's actually a downtrend here. Interesting. Why didn't I see this before? It's a downtrend on the daily. Here's the downtrend. And then, so it is on a downtrend. And what I'm trading on the H4, this is actually the pullback. Wow, that would be a very, very nice trade to the downside in a bit, I guess. So it's actually the pullback. So it came all the way here, uh, made a double bottom all the way up, came down. So this looked like a bull trend, right? This region, however, it is a pullback. Hey, yo, yo, one, three, two, 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 three. Let's see, one, three, two, one, three, two, two, three, two, three, three, one, three, And this would be the wick of the candle. So now, if you notice, uh, even if you take this as a trend in itself, so made a high, low, higher high, confirm low. It did not break past this low. It did not break past the high. And it's been given me, giving me rejections for the last, uh, let's say, since, Tenth, this region has been a place of uh, let's resistance. It's just rejecting. It went up, came down, rejection over here, and it's almost a similar. Most so the moment I see that it hasn't gone higher to break past this high, or it hasn't broken past the low and it's been giving me rejections on a specific level, uh, then uh, it kind of indicates that maybe I should look at what the higher charts are doing, what are the higher time frames doing, you know? So in this case, it's actually a pullback and it's going to reverse from this region. Most probably it's going to reverse from this place. Hmm, interesting. All right, so yesterday was a mess. Internet stopped. All my trades went and hit. I mean, it wasn't a loss. I cut down, I cut a few losses. Mm, so we are down from 50,000. We're down mm, like some 200. I think I lost around uh, from, we were at, the, or I lost around 1,200 or something. You know, it's about, 
less than 2% in total, our account is down. But now, here's the mistakes that I've made. I was so engrossed with looking at the wicks only, like, okay, this is one of the trades. I was so engrossed in looking at, okay, it came to an area of, if you're still in this box, this is still valid. So yes, we had come to an area of um, support. I think I took it somewhere in the afternoon, you know. Came to an area of support. Uh, and then it was this rejection. What time did I take it? Let me close this. I don't know what time I took it. Let's say, let's look at the time. NZD, JPY, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, around 2 p.m. Why did I take it at 2 p.m.? Somewhere here. Oh, somewhere here. Oh, okay. So I took it because it came in here. This was the region that I took the trade. And from here, let's say from here, this thing just dropped another 10 pips. Because it has already injected into the zone, most likely it's going to come and do that again. All right, now let's put a, a circle around this and let's see how it was on the four hour as well. So, uh, yeah, so the main reason I lost was because it, as soon as it came to a support level, I was just only looking at how price is going to react to, uh, I mean, how I was just looking at buying off the supports and wicks and, you know, I lost track of what a top to bottom analysis is and I was not looking at what candles are trying to tell me. Okay, so in this case, over here, if I had looked and looked at it properly, I would have seen that it is on a downtrend. The bear momentum is quite strong and I want to wait till I see some sort of strong rejection because at this rate, it is very strong bear momentum. Look at this, the last, if it was yesterday, the last three days, strong bear movement, okay? And also not only that, let me make this bigger and remove, not only that, if I look at the overall direction of the trade, lower high, lower low, low, another lower high. So this lower high is confirmed because it broke past this low. This is a lower high. We are on a downtrend. Okay, we are technically, the daily is on a downtrend. Uh, it is on a downtrend overall. Uh, but now when you look at it, when you zoom in and what is price doing now? So there was a whole bunch of rejection, I mean, trend here before the reverse. This is essentially the pullback. Could be the next lower high region. And then it's come down here. Essentially another sort of a reject. I mean, it's making a mini trend in itself, you know. And if I saw stuff like this yesterday and I pay attention, from now on I've got to pay attention to this. You see how it's rejecting this region? And then it started slowing down. I mean, it started going bare. Momentum shifted. There's a lot of selling pressure in this region. I should have just paid attention to what price was doing. So a lot of selling pressure in this region and it's slowly going down. Let's look at the 15 minute. 
so this is exactly what I did on the GJ and NJ and GU. I was not looking at the bigger picture. I lost track. I was not looking at the momentum of the market, the pulse of the market. What is the 15 and five minute and 30 minutes doing? That's what you want to look at. So if I look over here, hold on, I'm going to, okay. So when you look at the 30 minute, do you see the direction? It's from the top left of the screen to the bottom right, very strong bear. Also, do you see it's going down levels? It broke through this level of resistance so easily and it's going down very strong bear. There are more red bear candles than there are green. Do you see? And they are big, very strong res uh, bear momentum. And at this point, you can't be really sure that the momentum has died. Okay. Let's look at the rejected, went up, boom, it still had some energy. For the simple fact that because it has visited this area before, let's look at the 30 minute. Yeah, look to the left a little more. It has visited this area before. I'm expecting a nice piercing into the level, then it can go up. So these are the things that I missed yesterday. Also, uh, let's look at, okay, still the strong bear momentum here. Then there's a green, a not so strong bull, indecision, not so strong bear, bull. And look at this, sellers trying to take it down. Buyers push it up. Not sure if price has died. Buy around this time. Big week. And a double bottom boom with an engulfing. Now you know price has died around this part. Then you could have gone in a trade. From here, that's it. It would have been a clean trade. Let's look at the RSI. Not the best RSI, but it would have been a clean trade. Let's see from here, about seven pips. It's so oh, it's a 12. Let's put 19 or 20 even. Okay, and if we target it, entry from here, target just till here. That's almost a 1.9 risk to reward. Even if we tried from here to here, technically, let's remove this. So the member effect strategy works after the momentum and the uh, overall trend are agreeing with each other. And you see the momentum has kind of died with this moving sideways. Uh, the band, the distance between the bands have also reduced. They're kind of like, it's died. It's going down in and out, in and out. Over here, still it's strong. Maybe this is one of the things I can look at to help confirm the depth of momentum or the slowing down of pulling the brakes. So if we're from here to here, it came and is rejecting off the 61.8, kind of rejects, rejects, came down, reject. So if we had to enter, I like this rejection. This was good. Even if we enter it around, look at this. Even if you enter around there and you put the 
stop loss here and you target it over here still good so lesson to be learned let momentum read the candles from the top to bottom approach even with the member fx strategy you want to wait till the momentum for the lower time frames at, lines up with the overall trend bias wait for momentum to die down before it actually reverses the car has to come to a stop or slow down before it changes its direction